This is the presentation for the e-poster pathology specific treatment of label uncertainty for the classification of chest x-rays. The situation is that generating gold standard labels for all images in big chest x-ray datasets is nearly impossible due to the cost and the need for multiple experts. Therefore, most datasets use an NLP tool to extract the labels from the medical reports. Even then, it's a hard task for radiologists. Therefore, there is a certain level of uncertainty within the labels and, for example, in a Chexpert dataset, this is captured by providing an extra class. In literature, there are multiple methods to handle the uncertain class, for example, ignoring, replacing or using label smoothing regularization. However, the same strategy is used for all the labels. While some diseases might be easier to identify than to rule out, or it might be the other way around. And radiologists, therefore, might possibly have a different classification threshold for the diseases when deciding for the uncertain class. And it's reasonable to assume that different strategies work better for different labels. The comparison of strategies by Irvin et al. shows this empirically. The idea is to decide for each pathology individually how it should be treated. And based on the results from Irvin et al., for the UMIX approach, we replace uncertain with the positive class for atelectasis, edema, and pleural effusion, and with the negative class for consolidation and cardiomegaly. And for UMIX plus LSR, instead of replacing it with one and zero, we randomly sample from those two intervals, which were taken from FAM et al. And the results show in this comparison for three different CNN architectures that UMIX shows ROC AUC improvement over U0s and U1s approaches, and UMIX plus LSR gives the best results. The results from the Dense 921 for each label moreover show that the pathology specific treatment led to the best result in four out of the five labels. And for the two pathologies with the highest portion of uncertain labels, which are atelectasis and consolidation, the UMIX plus LSR approach was the best method. However, medical domain knowledge could evaluate the tendency towards positive and negative for each label better, and also a detailed examination of the labeling tool could help. Moreover, the LSR intervals were taken from FAM et al. without optimizing for the pathology specific treatment, which might further improve the results. Thanks for listening.